Hey, hello and welcome to this new Nuke tutorial by Flowmotion. And today we are going to have a really basic look at the RDK keyer within Nuke. So if you also want to learn a bit about keying in After Effects instead of Nuke, I also have a few tutorials and at the moment a tutorial series out there. Feel free to check them out also because there are some tips and tricks in Nuke that may help in After Effects and also the other way around. And if you like what you see, always feel free to click that nice subscribe button. But now let's just jump directly into Nuke. So let's directly import our footage. As I know many of you are also watching a lot of my After Effects tutorials, I'm trying to make this really basic so that you can really follow and understand all the principles. So at first let's import our footage. For that we hit R for read. And here in the browser let's grab our green screen footage and open it. Now we hit 1 to get our viewer and to see something. And when I scrub through this, you see it's the same footage we have worked on before in After Effects. It's a green screen with a lot of wrinkles and all that stuff. Then it's me in front of the green screen and at the end I get rid of the green screen so that we have our backplate. So what I have already prepared is a still image of the green screen as well as a still image of our background plate. I hover over the node graph, hit R and now I can select both of those. When I click on a footage element and hit the one button, it connects it to the viewer. So this is the background. As you see, I actually scaled it up a little bit. And this one is the JPEG of the green screen clean plate. And as I said, today we want to start with keying this footage. And for that, we want to have a first look at the IBK Keyer. So the go-to keyer in Nuke is normally the IBK keyer. In some cases you can also use the key light that you know from After Effects, but IBK really became the industry standard for most cases. What the IBK does, so IBK is an image-based keyer, it tries to generate a clean plate out of the footage. The color that is really close to the footage element gets smeared into the image, so in that way it generates a green screen clean plate. After that you put the green screen clean plate next to the footage and the keyer calculates the difference between the green screen plate and the one with the footage element in front of the green screen plate. And the result of that is a really really nice key. We will keep this even more basic because that's why I also filmed the green screen plate without me sitting in front of it. So we can just use that and don't even have to generate our clean plate out of that. So let's bring out the IBK. With our mouse in our node graph, we hit the tap button and just type in IBK. And there we have the IBK gizmo. And let's do this once again, IBK and the IBK color. So the IBK gizmo is simply the keyer and when we take a close look we can pipe in the foreground, a background and C is for the clean plate we would create and to create the clean plate we would have the IBK color. So that would normally come in here and we would create the green screen plate out of our footage. But as I told you we don't need to do that. We will do that in one of the future tutorials because we can simply use our clean plate that we already shot and don't have to take care of anything else. And as I told you the foreground is our green screen footage. So really easy. We have the green screen footage and just the green screen and pipe the footage with the foreground into the foreground pipe and the color clean plate that we created, which we normally would create with the IBK color, we just pipe it into this C pipe. And by hitting one on the gizmo, you can already see what this is doing. It's doing kind of a strange thing. And if I hover over the image and hit the A button, you can see that it creates an alpha channel that looks a bit strange. This is because we have to set this up a little bit in the IBK gizmo. So by double clicking on it, it appears 
over here. It's kind of the effects panel where you can tweak all the settings in the gizmo. Close all of them really quick and just bring out that one. The type at the moment and by default is set to blue, so let's just change this to green. There we have it. Click on A for Alpha. Really, really nice. That's just the difference between that one and that one. It's really, really powerful. And now, as we have the alpha of this, let's just combine the foreground and our background. So let's just merge this tab to get out all of our nodes and type in merge. Bring out the merge node and B stands for our background. So let's bring in the background here and A you can think of a top of the background. So A is what's a top. And now when we go to our merge node and hit the one button again, you can see that we have created a first key with a nuke with the IBK keyer, which is really simple. You just, when you shoot green screen, have to be aware to also shoot the clean plate of your green screen footage. And this is already the pretty basics of the IBK gear. So I'd like to make it really small steps this time to get started with the keying tools with the nuke because I think for you it's best to really learn it step by step and don't be overthrown by all the different possibilities to find their nuke. For now let's keep it with that and I hope you had a lot of fun learning new stuff in nuke and maybe getting started with nuke. If you like what you see, then just follow me to the next tutorials where we will learn on how to set this up even more and how to create our clean plate if we haven't shot it on set. So we would use the IBK color node to create this image out of this one. So if you enjoyed watching, just click the subscribe button and I can do way more tutorials for you. So now I wish you a lot of fun in Nuke.